In primary school, we used to learn what a number line is and how to use it. It was the first time we got to know what zero and negative numbers are, what a unit is and how to use it to measure segments. Me, as a mathematical freak, which I clearly was back then, not really, thought to myself, well, we can add two segments together, it is pretty easy actually. What about multiplication of two segments? By which I mean multiplication of lengths of these two segments. Of course, it can be easily represented as an area of a rectangle with segments as its sides, but I wanted to know if there is any way to draw x times y on a number line when x and y are given. This question was definitely beyond any of my understanding of mathematics back then, but recently I thought about it once again, and I found a solution. We start our construction by drawing a number line and marking points 0, 1, x and y. Now we draw another line that comes through the point 0. It can be any line as far as it's not overlaying the main number line. Next we draw vertical lines through points 1 and x, then mark the intersection points above them as a and b respectively. Now we join point a with point y with yet another line. And finally, we draw a parallel line through the point B. The intersection of this line and our number line is exactly x times y. Proving this isn't very hard. In fact, you only need to notice that these two triangles are similar. Taking ratios between bases and heights makes everything clear. I gotta admit, this construction is absolutely beautiful for me but it's not flawless. To see these flaws, let's compare what things does addition and multiplication of two segments require. For addition, we need to define where 0 is on our number line, while for multiplication 0 is not enough, and we also need to define a unit, which means that we need to locate where 1 is. But don't blame our construction for that flaw. In fact, every construction of multiplication of two segments on a number line will require a unit. Why? Let's take a look. One reason behind this is that without choosing 1, we don't know if x is bigger or smaller than 1, which affects the result of multiplication. If x is bigger than 1, then x times y is bigger than y, and similarly, if x is smaller than 1, then x times y is smaller than y. Not choosing 1 on the number line makes determining if x times y is bigger or smaller than y impossible. Another reason is that without 1 on the number line there is no sense of scale, which is really important in the multiplication situation. You can test this by keeping 0, x and y in the same places, but marking 1 in a completely different one. This will surely affect the output, x times y. Now that we know how to multiply two segments, the next natural thing would be to ask is there any way to construct the division of two segments on a number line? Since division and multiplication are essentially the same thing, it should be doable. And it actually is. Moreover, division can be done with the same construction as the multiplication. Let's take a look. In the construction of division of x over y, we repeat almost all steps of the construction of x times y. Now we also draw a parallel red line, but this time it shall go through point x instead of b. We mark the intersection point between red line and the additional line as c, and an orthogonal projection of this point on our number line. This point is exactly x over y, and proof of this fact is based on the same concept as before, similar triangles. I'm pretty sure that I wasn't the only one wondering about multiplication of two segments, so I hope I dispelled some of your doubts. Thanks for watching.